yeah, life or death situation. I've been in a big for gore. All I remember is pretty girl is working on my body. What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay, so... I guess you could say General Raven got put into the foundation of this anime. Eh? Anyways, Winry showed up, so let's get straight into it. Before we get started, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm gods. Check us out over on Patreon for $5 if you want to get early access to reactions, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut. And uh, check us out over on Twitch. I stream every single day. I kind of just do whatever I want from video games to reactions, so come through. Come hang out. Let's get it. Loud footsteps. These motherfuckers mean mugging. So what's the story with these guys? showed up under the pretext of escorting Ms. Rockbell, but I'm not buying that. They only answer to Kingley. He's got some kind of plan for us here. But what? The first homunculus. Oh, it must be Pride. Pride must be the first homunculus. Because we still haven't met Pride yet, and Pride and Sloth are supposed to be here, right? Because, literally, Ge General Raven was like, so, I talked to you, Sloth, and Pride! What did Pride do? Blah, 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 blah! So, clearly, it's gotta be Pride, right? <laughs> like, that just kinda makes sense. Trust Kinley if I were you. Why? Why not? He seems nice. Miss Rockbell, is it true that your parents lost their lives while giving medical attention during the war? This is the most manipulative motherfucker I've met in my entire life. <laughs> I'm sorry. This gives me big X energy. <laughs> you know, I've just always supported and loved you as much as I possibly could. And sometimes it's just, you know, I tried my best and I, I feel like I, I just can't be there all the time. And I'm sorry for that. Motherfucker, you were never there. What you mean, stupid? What? Gross, boogity ass bitch. Like, same energy, right? Same energy. Like, shut up, Kimberly. Manipulative head ass. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna get real deep, deep cut Alicia lore. He slept with my best friend. That's where that conversation came from. He slept with my best friend. I found out through Snapchat. Because in the morning, I saw his phone had, like, a snap from my best friend. So I was gonna snap her back and be like, what up, girl? And then I realized it was a nude. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I found out they were sleeping together and I didn't know. So <laughs> he like gave me this long speech about how like, I've just been trying to support you and be there. But you know, blah, blah. fuck you. That's not the conversation. The conversation is about where your dick sliding into. What the fuck you talk about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way. They would sleep together once a month whenever I was on my period. That was their whole plan. <coughs> Psycho shit. Anyways. Deep cut Alicia's floor. <laughs> but also, I never once suspected him or her because I trusted them and whenever they hung out I was just really happy I'm like oh my god my best friend and my boyfriend are hanging out that makes me so happy now I got trust issues <laughs> now I trust nobody not even anime <laughs> except for my fiance my fiance now massive w he a real one he a real one <laughs> I've also had some nice exes but it's not fun to talk about the nice ones it's more fun to talk about the shitty ones I just want to talk about my, my amazing fiance now. <laughs> oh, 
Oh! Oh! Hey, he the manipulative bastard. Fuck this guy, man. Fuck this guy. My boy, my boy's heart started beating. He was like, oh yeah, life or death situation. I've been a big for gore. All I remember is pretty girl is working on my body. Ah! Pretty girl is working on my body! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't think he can, buddy. I don't think he can, buddy. Damn. <laughs> I mean, at least they both know they're in love with each other now. That's good. I mean, she been knowing, but right. he it's put it together. Be any weaker than my last arm, will it? Not really. It's slightly weaker, but I doubt they'll notice. It's pretty heavily reinforced. Wow, you know what? He was talking about that in like the, the when he was talking about the model type he was using when they were in the in the in the snow or before they entered the the the. Am I Porky Pig? Why the fuck am I stuttering? Head <laughs> ass. What am I? What just happened to me? <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was talking about that when they were fighting in the snow outside of the outside of the actual wall yet. And he was like, This model for this arm is blah 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 for the auto mail. So it's cool that Winry can actually acknowledge it and, and like value it. It was dope. Whoa, what kind of reinforcement is that on the claws? They're not diamond tipped, are they? <laughs> so, <laughs> and the thing is, is he's not even blushing because he's like, oh, I want to tap Winry. He's blushing because he's like, oh my god, someone who acknowledges my arm and is complimenting the little modifications I made. It's so good. Anyways, you little pep squeak, why the fuck you? She hanging around with you and your garbage ass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, he deserves to have a woman who appreciates his auto mail, damn it. Okay, and his modifications. And you get to have her? You lucky bitch. Life is not fair. <laughs> okay, I will be. I'm I'll so be glad he didn't tell like even if Kimberly wasn't there. Ed should not tell Winry. Because if she acts any sort of way of suspicious at all and slightly gives away that she's uncomfortable around Kimberly, that means they'll know that Ed leaked and she'll die. So him, like, intentionally refraining, like, holding, withholding the information is just... It's, I'm so anxious. <laughs> I'm so anxious. Excuse me, can you tell me why you're keeping me in the cell? Because that's where Mr. Kimberly wants you. We were given specific instructions and orders to only release the Full Metal Alchemist. You mm. 
Yeah, it is a smart move. Yep. Good job, honey. Keep it together. That's cutting it close. I'm also concerned about the team's sanity. An entire week in total darkness. Briggsmen don't get scared of the dark. General. I mean, we're just losing more men, and we got a fucking infiltration inside of our goddamn base. Are we not concerned about that, too? Okay. I am the only one responsible for the incident involving General Raven. You weren't there. You didn't see anything. You didn't hear anything. She's such a real one for that. She's such a real one. She cares so much about their well-being. Of your armor, not you. She said you might as well just get lost. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, fair enough. <laughs> she really didn't. Do you remember? She literally shooed away the thought of Roy when they were asked when she was asked about it. She's like, "Yeah, couldn't care less about him." Anyways. <laughs> Hey, wait. Who are you? Oh, just someone who has served the Armstrong family for generations. <gasps> for generations! And she's an Armstrong! For generations! <laughs> she's been serving the Armstrong family for generations! <laughs> That's amazing! That's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> what a freak <laughs> damn massacre it's exactly the same as Smith's arm even this metal was sliced clean through keep on the lookout might be close. These motherfuckers dead as hell. I like that bald guy. Thank goodness you're okay. Is there anyone else? What happened? The others were... They were all... <laughs> oh, the reason why they weren't being attacked at the end is because there's no shadows if all of it's just darkness. Shadows can only be cast by light, technically. So that's what it's considered? Is that why they weren't being attacked till now? Can you walk? Let's go. Try to help them walk as much as you can. Oh! It willingly chose not to kill them! It could have went to their shadows, but it chose not to kill them! What's the strategic play here? What's up with that? There's a plan in play there! I'm sorry to bother you so late. That was the shadow hand of pride. Right? I assumed the wall shadow thing was pride. Why the fuck would Salim have that? Why the fuck would Salim have that? Unless he's... No, shut up. There's no way. It's what the nice fuck? To you. you must be working hard to be up so late. Not really. I just had to bring your father some doctors. Child, are you a tiny demon? Ah! Ah! 
she said the thing. She said pride. She's the pride, the pride of my life. He's the pride of my life. Oh my fuck. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So surprised though. He is related to my husband, so he must have some of his genes. He he is not related to you? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. He's a homunculus, bitch! Holy shit! Yeah, he is. All thanks to my stepmother. She just doesn't know how to shut up. But you... Your baleful presence also gave you away. Some nerve to ask you a question like that, considering the circumstance. What the Such fuck? You've also shown good judgment by keeping your gun holstered. And I was the first to monkey us. Full Metal Alchemist. You know what? A part of me feels stupid for not even having a... I had no clue. I had no clue whatsoever. But when you, like, reflect on it and you really start to think about it, it's like every character in the show is written with intentional character flaws to make them feel more human, right? <coughs> Bless me. And then you see Salim over and over again. And he doesn't really have character flaws. He's just a super dopey, ha happy-eyed kid. But he keeps reoccurring and showing up in places. And I thought... And I and they, they do such a good job at attributing it to him being a fanboy. Of him just being super excitable about the world of alchemy. So, like, you don't really have that thought of that it could be something else. But then you like look at it as like a grand picture of how every character's been written thus far. Right? And they even humanized the way that like Salim's mother is, right? Because she's like, oh yeah, I got so pissed off I slapped Bradley, blah, 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 right? And it's like, yeah, so she has like hu very human-esque aspects. But the kid, like his varying emotion is literally just extreme excitement towards alchemy and his dad. And even his disappointment wasn't even actual disappointment. It was just kind of like, oh, okay then. Hmm. Wish we could hang out more. That's about it. It wasn't something that would be like... <sighs> it was like overly wellly, too bit well behaved. To the point where it wasn't realistic for a child to have that range of emotion. But I chalked it up to just, I don't know. Because like every... Cause when, even when Ed asked him, he's like, how do you feel about your father being away so often? Any kid would be like, you know what? I It bothers me a lot. I wish my dad was around more. But there's only so much I can do. And, you know, I'm just really happy when he is here. You know, or, or even a younger kid would be like, it bothers me. I wish dad would spend more time with me. But this kid did not answer anything like that. Like, did not answer, like, a child's, like, because a child's naivety and scope of their worldview wouldn't be able to comprehend that their dad's position is that important to the point where they dissuade their own opinions right and their own like immediate thoughts oh man because that and that's and oh because the plot twist of this is so good that you can understand and see how it built to this moment but the way they covered it is just damn good it's just damn good gosh 
Oh my god! Trying to humor me with your empty threats? It's just wasteful to kill your hostage. <laughs> How perceptive you are. Just remember, Lieutenant, no matter where you are. Fucking hell? Jesus! He's genuinely overpowered. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's clashing. Will against will. Life versus life. Humans or the homunculi? Which one will triumph? Which side does the world prefer? The hom yeah, dude. This dude is a fucking psycho. He doesn't give a shit. He just wants to feel in excitement. He gets off on the fact that things are going to go crazy. Are you trying to appeal to his human side and his human nature? His morals and values? What morals and values? This bitch is crazy! Yeah, Kimberly, you finna die, bitch, okay? We had the foreshadowing of you literally being like, I'm excited for death. I'm excited for the final blah, blah. <laughs> bitch, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. You, we know you're about to stake your life on the line for what you want, okay? But you ain't gonna get it. But you still finna die for it, okay? Stupid ass. <laughs> How many times does this guy have to say, I'm gonna die? He just keeps saying, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I talked right over Ed's line there. To bet on the outcome of this battle. Kimberly, you don't make any sense. <laughs> okay, never mind. Did not need to read that. <laughs> That's surprising. I had always kind of assumed that self-centeredness was a universal trait of all alchemists. Well then, let's see if I can find something that you do selfishly crave. <laughs> something you and your brother... Yup. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. trying to do is get your original bodies back again about that they actually offered me a philosopher's stone as payment a st oh 
Oh, this episode hurts, dude. Oh, God, this hurts. This is so... This is just... These poor kids. Just... Winry realizing that she's just a pawn waiting to be sacrificed for a, a more powerful move ahead of her. Al with the darkness of what it means to get his body back at the cost of so many lives. Because that's what the philosopher Zone takes. And having to go against every moral he's ever set for himself. And his absolute stance on not killing and not killing people even when the best option would have been to kill people in some situations he's been so dedicated to that oh god why am i crying they're just kids man they're just they're just kids <gasps> come on Oh, hold up. I can't tell if that was him acknowledging that he knows that Ed has a plan deep down or if that was him being mad. Well, I'm going to hope to God that was him acknowledging Ed has a plan deep down. Please tell me you know your brother by now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just Al acting like this intentionally because Al's done this before with Ed where they like act and pretend they're, like, doing a certain thing, that in reality it's all coded and he completely is on the same page as Ed. Yeah. You know what? I'm assume it's that. I'm assume it's that. Do you know why? Because Alphonse is a smart bitch, and I love my boy. He a good baby. I'm settled. I'm in, all right? But finding Scar is the first thing I want to do. Oh, yeah. The Philosopher's Stone? It can only be made by sacrificing human lives. Oh, shit. When are we learning a lot today? Yep. 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 That's right. I knew my baby Alphonse knew better. I I fucking said it. My baby Alphonse be smart as shit. Okay. That's a good baby. That's right. <laughs> he knows. Up and come up with a believable excuse. Huh? What? Huh? What? Poor man. Just let one reset on your lap. What the fuck, man? Look, we're not going for a picnic. And neither am I. I just performed a complicated upgrade on his auto mail that I've never done before. What if there's a malfunction? It would tarnish the Rockbell name if I'm not there to fix it. There! Did you notice that? He was like, what the fuck? And he goes, oh. And he realized that he's like, oh shit, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm playing along, I'm playing along, I'm playing along. Perfect, perfect, yep. Well, then you can join us. I guess I can allow you to. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> They're so cute. I want them to get married. I love them so much. They're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't just sit around waiting anymore. That's right, honey buns. Get your shit done. That's right, honey buns. That's right. <laughs> That's my girl. Get it done, baby. Get it done. <laughs> I'm so excited for when we. I'm so excited. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for being absolutely incredible YouTube. For those of you guys over on Patreon, you know the vibes. Stick around. We'll talk more. For those of you guys over on YouTube, thanks for watching. Bye.